In the last video, we created color styles and tokens. Today, we're diving into one of the most crucial aspects of UI design, typography. Specifically, we're going to set up a proper type scale in Figma using an essential plugin that will make your life a whole lot easier. You can use the file in the description to follow along. This is part of a series where we're building a simple dashboard step by step. First things first, open up your Figma file and type in something simple, like consistent design starts here. Now you want to make sure the text width is set to regular and the size is 16 pixels. This will be our base text. To streamline our workflow, we'll need a plugin. Instead of manually calculating type scales, which can be time consuming and inconsistent, we'll use a tool that does the hard work for us. Head over to plugins and search for type scales. It's the one with the triangle gradient background and click to run it. This plugin automatically generates a structured type scale based on your base size, ensuring a consistent hierarchy while saving your time. Super, super handy. Now let's talk about why we're using 16 pixels as our base. In web design, one REM usually equals to 16 pixels, which is the default root size for most browsers. This ensures that all text scales up or down consistently, making it easier to maintain readability and hierarchy. Within the plugin, we can set how many levels we want above or below our base text. For example, a smaller caption at 13 pixels or a note at 10 pixels, or a larger heading at 49 or 61 pixels. Instead of manually calculating these values, the plugin automates the process using a precise mathematical ratio, ensuring a structured, well balanced type system. There are different scaling methods available, but I usually use more times the measure third. That said, feel free to experiment with other options like perfect fourth or any other ratio that fits your design needs. Text size alone isn't enough. Line height plays a crucial role in readability. A good rule of thumb is setting the line height between 1.2 to 1.5 times the font size, which keeps the text comfortable to read without feeling cramped. To keep the things simple for our tutorial, let's set six scales up, two scales down, and let's scale the 1.25 the line height to 1.2 and now you can hit generate and the plugin will create a structure scalable type system for us. Now captions and links often need extra styling to stand out. So you might want to use all caps, increasing letter spacing or a bolder weight to create emphasis. Adjust these details before saving them as styles. So you can quickly apply them across your designs when needed. Now that we have our type scale, let's save it as a reusable text styles. Click on each text layer, go to the four dots style menu and create a new text style. Be sure to name them appropriately. So H1, H2 and so on. Always clicking this four dots icon until you reach the caption. This will save you tons of time in future projects by keeping your typography structured and consistent. Let's put this into practice. In your file, you'll find an example of a neuro section. Here, you can easily swap out text styles to maintain consistency. So select this one and just add the correspondent text style. Now do the same on this one. We can use this one and also for the text inside of the button. So if something looks off, you only need to update the style once and it will apply across all instances, a huge time saver when working with clients who request last minute changes. And if you want to take things a step further, try experimenting with different fonts. For example, switching from Inter to Playfair Display 
can completely transform the aesthetic of your design. Just make sure the font you choose is accessible and easy to read across different devices. And there you have it, a solid, scalable typography system in Figma. This approach keeps your UI clean, consistent and easy to update. If you found this helpful, hit like and subscribe for more Figma tutorials. Up next, we'll apply variables to text, taking your design workflow even further. See you in the next one and have a great day.